Hello, and welcome to my second video. I am Mantico, and today I will be playing some Dead by Daylight public matches. For the record, this audio is recorded in post-production, so you might hear some comments of frustration during my gameplay. The first game I played the camp, or Leatherface, who is quickly becoming one of my favorite killers in the game. Our first gameplay takes place in Gideon Meat Plant. I particularly enjoy Leatherface due to the fact that uh, his AoE chainsaw attack is more useful for uh, taking out large groups of enemies instead of like the hillbilly where it's a direct charge. Um, in the beginning here, I just sort of check mainly sound horror these generators to see if I find someone and lo and behold I do and I hit him. Um poorly timed palette on their part and they end up running into my sex dungeon or my uh my little dungeon here and immediately right off the bat give me a very nice opportunity for a dungeon play here. So uh this game I believe was my very first time playing um, Leatherface here and so far it's going good I've already got a survivor on the hook and no generators have been popped um, so I decided I'm just gonna come over here and check to make sure they didn't return to that dungeon not the dungeon and the uh, generator there um, now I'm just sort of searching for a friend who ended up running off. Um, but since I have the survivor on the hook, I don't want to stray too far. Just in case I can get that du sweet dungeon playoff, and I do. Um, I kind of wait up here for a second, wait for them to come up, but they don't. Uh, and they decide that they're going to try and hide. And I miss the swing there. Um, but. I'm learning how- also, if you saw there, I was revving my chainsaw, so I, I, I wasn't necessarily sure at this point in time how exactly this uh, the chainsaw worked, um, but as you saw, I had checked back just to see if where the other person had gone, because these people can't get off the hooks themselves generally the first time, but it's a very low chance, so I, I decided to check the locker just in case. Uh, someone is hiding. Um, gave her a little love tap there, and oh, we have someone. So now I have two people in this in this dungeon play that I can make this play. Um, activating my barbecue and chili there. Uh, perk level one, so it's not the best. Um, and they've got more running people. Oh, I see him. Um, trying to figure out how this chainsaw works in the beginning. I get get the hit off. And he ends up running down. Now that entire corridor doesn't have pallets, which could use on my part. And I still can't figure out how to get the chainsaw working. And everyone's down here. So I get one person down. I miss my miss my swing. But I'm gonna go for him anyway. He gets dropped over the side of the wall there. And I saw that the thing may think he was. Yep, went back for a generator. So I I'm gonna I'm gonna put her back on the final hook. The final hook. One killer down. Um not one killer down, one survivor down. And oh he's he's still on his way up and he's hurt. So I take a free pot shot at him. He's gonna try and get her back immediately. Nope, nope, he comes up and running. I'm gonna leave him be because I've got another guy here be that will, uh, that I think will be rest if he doesn't, uh, doesn't get left. So I'm just gonna put him right there, leave that hook open. Another, another opportunity for dungeon play. I don't see the red shirted guy anywhere who I ended up missing. Um, so I check the lockers again just in case to see if there's a. Let's see if he's hiding. 
He knows that's happened once already, so I can't be too sure. I always gotta check my corners. Um, and now they've left to go check for generators. And this generator just has just been making too much noise, so... I gotta figure out how to break the generators. Um, oh, and someone goes running through. They make a lot of scratch marks. Um, Mr. Redshirt. I'll come back for him. And then he wants to play Ring Around the Rosie around my totem, but Killer Lunges are incredibly overpowered. Um, so I'm going to put him on a back hook. And that's his third hook. So, again, just to double check to make sure no one's trying to come back. Forgetting that that's his third hook. Now I have to find these other two. Generator's broken, but I still didn't see that. Um, now the hunt begins. Now the actual hunt. Killed two, two complete survivors out of that dungeon play. I'd say that was a pretty good play for my first time. Ooh, they're hiding. Or they're healing each other, shall I say. Still can't figure out how to get that chainsaw to work. Um, I don't think I ever figured out how to get that. No, I got, I ended up figuring out how to use it at the end of the match. Knock him down. That bright shirt doesn't do very well. It looks nice, but it doesn't do very well in games. Uh, and I see that there's a fried pork chop thing here. Survivor chop here. I saw his friend have a coin in my eyes, so I turned around and swing. Don't know why that didn't hurt him. Um, his friend has... I forget the name of the perk. But he should have put the pallet there, so I'm just going to chase him continuously now. Didn't hide very well. Again, that red shirt is very, very noticeable. Uh, gotta figure out where I'm gonna put him. And I see that hook seems to be the closest. It's stuck on the wall because he, he likes to throw me around. Um, I don't know if they've changed that recently. I haven't had a problem with uh, survivors being able to wiggle around, wiggle me around like this. Um, now I forget exactly what perks this guy ended up bringing. But I lose him because he gets stunned off, but his friend is here. So I'm going to chase him instead. And his friend tries tries to pull a juke. I don't know where he came from. Or I think he got caught in a dead end and had to come running out. I didn't ever actually turn around to check. Yeah, there was a dead end and he came back to turn around and check. Now I've got his friend on this hook. Um, again, getting stuck on walls because I... They throw me around a lot. Um, now to go looking for his friend. But what better way to just kind of not really camp, but hang out and just make sure his friend doesn't come through and patrol and play it safer, not losing, not losing your prey instead of letting letting both your prey go. Okay, so I'll admit I was camping a little bit because I had two survivors left. Um, I run into the same dead end. He did. Um, I decide I'm going to walk around because his friend's not coming with me standing around like that. And there's his friend. Chance. As Chance holds it. Um, I'm going to wait because the last time I got hit, or the last time I, uh, went to swing at someone pulling a survivor down, I, uh, well, tried to juke me and failed. Uh, it didn't work. And I'm going to put him on this hook. Don't know why I didn't put him on a farther hook, but I decided to put him on this hook, activating my fourth thing of barbecue and chili, but I really didn't need it. Um, so that I could get to make some very nice survivor stakes out of this guy here. And he burns. Now I get to learn myself how to uh, use this... Uh, chainsaw thing. And it's still charging. And oh, I got it too. Finally. And there is my first game as Leatherface, or the Kenner. Very nice game for a quad. Very good dungeon play. I was very happy with it.
right, my second game here is with the hillbilly. I wanted to give both the chainsaws uh, a try during my very during the early stages, just to get get a hang for them and uh, kind of learn how each of them worked, what the differences between the two are, because they both carry the chainsaw and the hammer, and how each one of them kind of feels when you play them. Um, had a changed them up a little bit. I don't like that whole stretchy face that the very standard uh, hillbilly gets. Uh, again, same thing. I just sort of walk to generator from generator to generator to find, uh, see who's working on what and what kind of sounds I can hear. And, oh, someone, someone fails a generator. Check over here. So immediately I haven't seen anyone yet. So I'm, I'm going beeline straight for him. Um, trying to figure out how the chainsaw works, or how to use the chainsaw in this character better. Um, got the chainsaw to work finally. And going to see where this person was, or why, why they made a, uh, made a little sound. Um, so I just kind of check everywhere. Again, I, very new at the game at this point in time. Uh, not really understanding this map too well either so just checking every little back corner and alley to see what I can get done if I find a survival maybe just hanging out by that generator um, eventually I just kind of get bored and see if I can see and hear another survival and they break a uh, fairly chainsaw so as the hillbilly does charging across the map I uh, did what I could to get as close to this generator as I can now, I can't let them come back and get the generator, even if they wanted to. Um, oh, and I see someone. I see two people. Um, still learning the chainsaw. Yes, I realized I could have just sawed through it, but I wanted to, uh, wanted to break it. Um, this guy's had a little bit of experience with Juki and things like that, I can tell, because of the fact that uh, he likes to go up and down specific areas just to make, just to throw me off in different directions. Um, and I'm still on his trail here, but he, he was very, very deceptive little monkey, or person, or whatever I want to call him right now. Uh, jumps through the window, but... He forgets that I'm right there. Um, and I hit him as he's going into the thing. I probably should have just waited for him to get in there. Um, but, you know, I didn't want to... Didn't know if there was any sort of, like, bug or glitch or anything like that that might avoid a hit that way. Um, and then I decided I'm going to make some more survivor stakes out of him. And... Uh, this this one seems like a very nice hook just to put him on. Um, so I go searching. I gotta walk away a little bit because otherwise his friends won't come. Um, go check what generators are on the area. Figure out why that generator's down there. Don't hear anyone working on that one, so I just kind of continue walking around, see if I can see someone from a distance trying to save him and then eventually I just kind of walk off because it was his first hook and there there are people getting generators at the moment um, but can't can't move too far can't move too far or else you lose lose the hook play and there's the hook play I see him they try coming out running towards me and decide immediately against that because I'm right there <coughs> Fuck. Excuse me. Um, this map is really bad for the hillbilly, I noticed. Everything sort of gets in your way. Um, and he's just being a pain in my ass. So, I'm going to target him. Still trying to figure out how to pick people up, it seems like. And, uh, close to is the one he was just on. So... He's just being a pain in my butt, and I want to get rid of him as soon as possible, therefore I can focus on the other ones who might not be just as good at running as he is. Um, his friend has to be here somewhere, so I just kind of look around the house, just in case. 
Uh, and there. There she is. I wait because, as you saw in my last game, I had uh, problems with... Uh, hitting survivors coming off the hook. Um, and I'm just going to target him. He needs... Oh. He got my attention. And... So... I uh, hear I am debating whether or not I want to pick him up or not. And he runs right back into me. So I, I decide to chase after him. While, uh, unfortunately, I believe, uh, the other girl, or the other player, um, picks him up. Now, why I doubled back here, I'm not 100% sure. I could have gone around, but I didn't realize that. Um, at the time being, and I look back at that now and kind of slap myself in the head for it. But I still chase this guy. Because he's not the best at running. And that provides another another hook play. Um, but yeah. everyone is fully healed, so... We're getting fully healed, so... A uh, little bit of a situation on my part. Uh, but I'm going to walk away from him because... I really don't like campers, so... I'm guessing other survivors don't like campers. But... Never be outside of a hillbilly dash to get him. Um, and chainsaws always just kind of, ooh, someone else is here. And, nope, oh, I'm going to make sure he's not a pain in my ass no more. And he's got a med kit, see if he can not run me. Which, again, as you see here, he just sort of plays ring around the rosy, as most survivors like to do. He jumps over and gets hit. Now, I'm not going to make the same mistake as I did last time, and I'm going to hook him. He's going to—he's not going to be a thorn in my side anymore. So I come over to this hook. The other guy has got knocked to hook, and I think they did the heal on him. Probably no, they have not done the heal on him yet. So they're probably healing him. Um, and then I see someone going to save him, but it's his third time on the hook. So chainsaw run. Um, I don't think I get this one off. Um, but I do find him. I do continuously chase him. Because, you know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta get him. And there's now two people here. All my survivors have bunched up. I get it here. Um, another reason I was playing the hillbilly, as you will find out at the end of this match, is I had a challenge to get chainsaw hits. So, at the end here, I end up doing a whole bunch of uh, chainsaw yeah. attempts that fail or succeed and things like that um, I did end up completing that challenge as you'll see but uh, I gotta walk away walk away from him because I saw someone over here and they might be hiding and I found them but there's 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 now three people in this vicinity um, knock her down and there's someone else here so I'm going to try get that knocked down. And I don't know where his friend went, so I'm just going to hook him. Uh, and his friend disconnects. Maybe he thought it was hopeless? I don't mind. Game gives, uh, games gives very nice uh, uh, bonuses for, peop for when people quit. Um, but... I forget she gets decisive strike, and she gets the rescue off. Very clutch play, very nice um, play. Um, but I, I'm still the hillbilly, and I can dash really nicely. Um, now it's just me and her. Cause I think this is his yeah third time on the hook. Um, check to see if she's doing the generator and she wasn't but she was waiting to get the hook off and as I said before getting some of those late game uh, chainsaw charges and for a second I lose her uh, run right into this get get kind of tunnel visiony here trying to find this kill um, I really 
Don't know why she didn't put that pallet down. Maybe she didn't want to make too much noise. Um, but yeah, I get very tunnel vision in here and end up missing a whole bunch of... A um, whole bunch of times. Now it's just me and her and... Uh, she gets caught in a corner, I think, or she tries to hide. I'm not sure exactly what happened in this scenario. Um, but to no end, I had a rage quitter. And I think this was like my second game. This was right after my uh, previous hillbilly game. And uh, a little bit of chainsaw running. Learn how it works a little bit better. Figure out how the ability works, you know. First game with the hillbilly, haven't got to play him much. Um, haven't played him much really since. But as you'll see in post game here, I did fairly well. I am Mantico, and this has been Dead by Daylight. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, I do plan on posting videos once a weekend right now, trying to get used to my uh, work schedule. Um, then a, a, hopefully every other day. Um, that's it. Deuces.